want to welcome everyone to week two of CIS 115. This is uh, second week and last week of module one of the class. So this week you'll have projects two and three to complete and uh, then the exam and the exam is two parts. So let's take a look at turtle graphics. Now up to this point we have been doing text textual things with Python and Tani and this week we'll be doing some fun graphical uh, programming with uh, turtle graphics and Python. So I'm going to switch over to share my desktop And hopefully that's got the desktop going now. Let's see. Yeah, that's got it. Okay, so where do we go to look at the turtle graphics material? Well, it's in Blackboard here, and I'm looking at the checklist for this week. I will point you to the site for the class again, and that site is can be found at uh, HTTPS for a secure connection www.rccit.com slash CIS 115 and a slash so there's the URL this is in the checklist for week one I don't put it on the checklist every week because hopefully you've got it bookmarked by now, but we'll go to that site. And the turtle graphics material is right here. So it's number five. I'll just click on that. And we have all kinds of fun things that we can do with turtle graphics. And I'll show you a little bit uh, around there and some of the really important things to remember in your programs. I want to also uh, give a, a few pointers on YouTube just in case someone uh, needs some help with uh, figuring out YouTube. Not that you don't already know everything there is to know about YouTube but since we're doing things that require a fairly good sharp screen image I feel like I should at least um, point you to some of those settings so that you can see what I'm talking about so I'm on the checklist for week one and I'm gonna click the link to go to my YouTube channel and we can just start any of these videos like the one from week one it's never a good idea to play a video inside a video but I, this is about the only way I can think of to show you where the settings are so I'm gonna click into that video and so that video is playing now I'm gonna turn the volume down so I don't have to hear it um, so and it's still going so let me see if that's better okay I don't have to hear myself talk now so when you're playing these videos take note of this the gear down here on the uh, bottom bar if you click that gear there are a couple things that you need to make sure I think it defaults here to the quality of 360 P. I record all these videos as high def so if you're playing the video on a computer screen and that's really kind of where you should be playing it if you're going to be able to see what I'm doing then you need to set it to 720 so did you see where I went I went to quality after clicking the gear I went to quality and I picked 720 and p60 okay 
so that's as high a quality as YouTube will give us so that's gonna allow you to see the screen much sharper and see what's being typed in now the other setting that may be beneficial to you is the uh, playback speed and most of the time I, I find when I listen to myself in these videos I think I'm talking too slowly now you may disagree and say you know you're, you're going too fast well either way you can adjust it so if you think I'm t talking too slowly then by all means bump it up to 1.5 speed and that will speed things up I have actually listened to things at t double speed before if you think I'm talking too slow then you can go down here to 0 0.75 or 0 0.5 so you can change the playback speed so that's what I wanted to show you about playing the videos is that uh, that you have the setting for the quality of the picture and you also have the setting for the um, the playback speed so back to turtle graphics again let's see where that is turtle graphics is this window this browser window so this is actually the full Python code here that you could paste in to do uh, a program to draw a square with turtle graphics now let's talk a little bit about some general things as to what's going on with this program this line right here where it says from turtle import star that line is is bringing in some code that's not normally included when you start a Python program there are lots of additional libraries in Python that you can bring into your program Python comes with the turtle graphics library you can bring that into your program so that you can use it by this import statement now later on in the class you will see that there are other ways that I could import the turtle library as well but right now this is the simplest way to bring the turtle library in so I'm gonna start Tommy up so you can see kind of what happens here when we import something now there's a command in Python that's called dir and it lets you see the objects that are available to you right now in your namespace so I'm gonna do a print okay this is the format of a print everybody should be good with that after doing the triangle project so that's our print what we want to print goes inside the parentheses there and so if I put the dir command with the parentheses for the dir command here's what I have going on in my program now and let's run that so you can see what gets printed down below in the shell window so gonna save this as how about we save it as test underscore dir dot py and I had already saved it sometime in the past probably showing somebody else so when I ran it these are the things that are built that are available to me right now in my namespace you'll see I've got something named annotations I've got built-ins where most most everything like the print command and stuff is in this uh, library I've got the doc library I've got the file library and so on so that's the way you can see what's available to you now I'm gonna go up above that command that we just did 
I'm going to clear my lower window. And I'm going to add that command that we were just talking about from, from turtle import star. Now you saw what the dir command looked like before. Now I'm bringing the turtle library in and you will see how it changes. It had so much stuff to print that it did this down in the window. If you ever see down in there in the shell window, you see this in Tawny, just click on the gray area and you can see it saying I ha there was so much stuff to print that I had to, it, to uh, you know, uh, shrink it or whatever, squeeze it. So if I expand it in the shell, this is everything we have now <laughs> because we imported the turtle library we get all the stuff that a turtle library has built in so these are all the things that are built into the turtle library and you can see we added a whole bunch of stuff these are all the things that a turtle can do now if you want you don't have to have a uh, web page to tell you how to use the turtle library. If you want the manual on something in Python, you can actually use the help command. And I don't even think we have to print the help command. We can just, uh, let's see, I want to clear this. Maybe I will have to do that. Well, let's just go on. So uh, when I printed all this stuff out down below, it's like it doesn't want to really clear too well. Let's try that. Okay. It's, it's not liking the, the clear command that I'm trying to do. So let's do the help and see if the help will work for us here. We've got turtle imported, so if I do help, and whatever you pass to help usually has to be quoted. So you notice I put double quotes around it. So I said help, double quote, turtle, close the double quotes, and closed my parentheses for the help command. And now when I run it, uh, you can see that I got all this that printed out look at everything that came out down below all this help these are this is the manual or the help text on how if I wanted to use the set tilt angle for a turtle this is how you would use it and here's an example of of using the uh, the help with the uh, turtle uh, shape and set size and all that. So the help command lets you get the manual. Now if you don't want to have to look at through everything, if we go back here and look right here, they were doing uh, the screen command. Now when I wrote this, I put a comment out there create a screen window to tell you what this line was doing but if you wanted to see what the screen command did and how to use it you could go back to Tawny and change your help a little bit to do this turtle and it was a capital S did you see how I put a dot and screen so now this is going to get us the help on the screen command. So I may have to just close this and go back into it. Let's do that. I'm going to start Tawny back up again. Okay. Now let's try that help. I have double quotes, turtle, dot, screen and double quotes so you see what it's showing me down here now help on function screen and turtle so 
this is what it does okay so you could go through and look up what each of these commands is doing okay when we create a turtle graphics program there are a couple things that you need to remember number one is we've got to create a screen object so if you looked at the example they had WN equals screen like that okay the other important thing to remember and if you forget this you can eventually mess up Tawny kinda like what I had going on from printing all that big stuff earlier wn.exit on click this is a very important command this exit on click method of our window that we created here or our screen that we created here the exit on click method frees up the gla graphics memory it also keeps the shape on the screen where you can see it so this creates a window and this releases the graphics memory and it also holds that window on the screen until you click inside it with a mouse so let's try it here's some code that's creating a turtle named Sam and it's telling Sam to move forward so I'm gonna copy this this is the code to to draw a square and then we'll talk about what it's doing so I'm gonna paste that code inside here now you can see what I had wrapping around that code right right here is what we had this brings the turtle library into our program this creates a screen object this ends our program it gives the graphics memory back to your computer and it also holds that window on the screen until you click inside it now here is where we created a turtle this calls the turtle uh, this brings a turtle object into existence so this line right here does what we call instantiates a turtle object and that object's name is Sam we could have more than one turtle in our program we could have more than one turtle in a program and if we did have more than one we could give them different names obviously so that we could keep up with them I'm gonna take this extra code out right now just so you can see what I've got going on right now is this creates a screen this this line I'm just putting comments in there holds the screen open until you click inside it with the mouse then releases the graphics memory okay let's run this so you can see what happens this is the turtle right here this little arrowhead we have brought Sam into existence but that's all we've done we haven't told Sam to move anywhere at all so notice the window is holding here on my screen until I take my mouse and click inside it now don't make the mistake of clicking the X at either the top left or the top right of that window and thinking you're gonna close that because if you don't click inside here where I'm moving my mouse with the cyan 
circle around it. If, if you don't click inside here, inside this window, your graphics memory does not get given back to your video card. And I know we've got some gamers in these classes. And so you know the more video memory you have on your card, the better your games run. Well, if, if you don't click inside this window, if you instead you go up here and click this X, then you took memory away. All the memory to create this window, you took it away from your graphics card. And you didn't give it back. So, if I were borrowing, uh, if I went to uh, Tori and I said, Tori, let me borrow $4.50, and then the next day I paid Tori back $4, how many times could I do that before Tori would be out of money? <laughs> so, you want to make sure that you click inside this window to give that graphics memory back. So, I just clicked inside it and that memory is gone now. Now, if I want this uh, this turtle named Sam to draw a line, I can tell it this. I can say Sam dot forward and inside these parentheses right here, inside these parentheses, this is where I tell it how far to move forward. And let's just say that I wanted it to move forward 300. Okay. Let's run our program again so you can see what it did. Did you see it starts, Sam, in the middle of the screen? Sam went forward 300 pixels. And he stopped. That's the, that we're sit, Our program's sitting here on this line that says exit on click waiting on us to click inside the window before it makes it go away. So I'm going to click inside that window. Now, if we were going to draw a square, we would need to turn left. We could turn right since we're in the middle. You want to do right? Just the example was doing left, but we can do right. Sam dot right. I'm going to tell Sam to turn right 90 degrees. Okay, and then I'm going to tell Sam to move forward 300. Okay, let's run that and you'll see what happens. You see, here we told Sam to move forward 300. I told Sam to move right 90. And then I told him to move forward 300 going to click inside there again. So to finish drawing a square, we could do this. Sam dot right 90. Sam dot forward 300. Sam dot right 90. left off my parenthesis there Sam dot forward 300 S remember that a square has four sides so there's one side there's two sides there's three sides there's four sides so I think since I've drawn all four sides that I should have a square so let's try it and I do. You can see right there. So, things that we could do with uh, these shape objects that we've drawn. If you wanted to fill this square, if you wanted to fill this square, um, the way we would do that is we would set the fill color first. That's a requirement on most computers. I have seen some folks that got away with doing it after the fact, but if you get a question on the homework or on the exam, you have to set the fill color before you uh, before you draw the shape. 
you heard me say that now I'm gonna show you the help again I'm gonna do help let's let we gotta import the turtle first from turtle import star and then I'm gonna do help turtle dot fill color let's see what that tells us when we run that first we're gonna have to save it look what it says the turtle fill color return or set the fill color okay so this is what it does and it will uh, take a color string or it'll take the three colors in red green and blue okay so notice right here's an example where they're setting the fill color to violet so let's try that before I draw my square I'm gonna say Sam dot fill color now you notice it's got quotes around it remember you can have single quotes or you can have double quotes but if you start with a double quote you have to end with a double quote so I've set the fill color but that's not all that's required in order to get this shape filled okay once you've set the fill color the next thing you have to do is begin fill and then once you're done drawing the shape that you want to fill you do a end fill okay so here's what I have I have my screen I created a turtle I set the fill color I called the begin fill then I drew my shape then I called the end fill so it doesn't matter whether you have some extra spaces in there uh, to make it make sense so let's run this and see what happens there's my violet filled square okay now you will see in the project which incidentally I think project 2 has you drawing a square with some requirements and we'll talk about that next so gonna click inside this window to close that let's go look at the project 2 that you have to do for the class now all this stuff that I just did here with you in this video you could get by reading this turtle graphics material okay I've just kind of hit a few of the high spots there are a whole lot more things that you could do with turtle graphics such as this spiral square and all of these bubbles so this is the code right here to make those bubbles so um, I, I can show you one other thing somebody asked me the other day how do you draw a circle with a turtle well as long as we've got Tawny up why don't we draw a circle just so you can see okay right now we've got this going on so how about I want to move my turtle up here to the uh, to the top left let's see if we could get the turtle to move to the top left so if I do this Sam dot go to and I told it minus uh, minus 200 minus 200 let's see what happens do you see where Sam went he left here and he went down here 
this is an X and a Y okay so if I wanted Sam to draw a circle right now I could do that but I don't like the fact that this line is here so let's make it where that line doesn't show up and again all this stuff that I'm showing you is in that turtle graphics material Sam dot pin up okay I'm gonna go to that spot and then I'm gonna set the pin down so what I just did is just like if you were gonna draw with an ink pen we drew a square and then I told I lifted my pen up off of the paper I went to a new spot and I set the pen back down so here we go now you see it didn't draw anything but I do have Sam sitting down there now okay so now let's draw a circle Sam dot circle and let's make it 50 in the radius I think is what that is so okay so there's our circle now remember we don't have a begin fill and an end fill around where we drew our circle so it's not going to be filled with any color if you wanted to fill that circle you could do something like this sam dot fill color let's make that green and then sam dot begin underscore fill and then Sam dot end fill okay and so we set the fill color to green we began filling we said Sam draw a circle and then we called the end fill so hopefully we'll have a green circle when this is all done now okay so there we go all right let's look at project two let's look at project two so that you can and you feel free to play with all of these all you have to do is drag across this code right click copy it to the clipboard go to Tawny paste it in and run it and you can play with all these turtle graphics programs okay so let's take a look at project two I'm going to go to course content. I'm gonna go down to module one. I'm going into module one assignments and exam and project two. Now project two says that you need to first off create an empty an empty tawny program named square and your last name so I've got tawny right here I'm gonna start a new program and I'm gonna go up to file and save as and it says square dash Clifton dot py is what I want to name it that's my last name yours would be named with whatever your last name is okay don't hand something in that says your last name instead of your real name last name there okay you'll lose points okay so I have created that square dash Clifton dot py if you look at the tab there you can see that it's showing me the right name it also shows it up at the top of the tawny window too it shows the name of the program that you're working with so I've done this part every program that you write has to have comments at the top of the program don't forget that I'm dragging across these and I'm gonna highlight all the comments copy it I'm going to switch back to Tawny 
and I'm going to paste those in. Now, make sure you change the name. It better be your name or you'll lose points. Nine. I'm, I'm working on this before your week of class. So the date that I'm writing this is that date. So, every program that you write for this class have to, has to have these lines with comments at the top that tells who wrote it, the date, the, what the assignment does, and a description of it. So, now that we've done that, we're right here. It says, modify the square so that it utilizes a turtle named the same as your first name. So, we've got several things that we need to do in order to make this work. The first thing that we need to do, remember if you're going to do turtle graphics, you have to have that line that says, from turtle, from turtle import star. That brings the turtle library into your program. Remember what I showed you at the start here. We have to create a screen window. You have to have that. Remember the very last thing in your program needs to be wn.exit on click. Okay. So this is a good start on the project. Now the next thing that we have to do, it says that it needs to draw a square with the side length based off of the last three digits of your RCCC student ID. So let's say my student ID was 811111. So the last three digits would be 111. So where would I fall in here? It, it wouldn't be 300. Okay. It wouldn't be less than 20. So I'm going to use 111 as my uh, side length for my turtle. So let's go for it. It's got to be based off of your last three digits of your student ID. If you look at your RCCC email address, the last three digits in those numbers after your last name and the dot and all, that's uh, your last three digits of your student ID. So Turtle's got to be named Ken for me. For you, it's got to be your first name. So Ken dot Ken equals and remember it's a capital T I think okay we can look and see see how it's a capital T right there most of the time when you're creating an object it's a capital so here I've created a turtle named Ken I haven't told that turtle to do anything yet remember that my sides of my square need to be 111 so Ken dot forward makes it draw and I said my side length needed to be 111 so let's try it out and see what happens there it is it started here in the dead center it went 111 and it stopped so I clicked inside there to make it go away. Now I'm going to say Ken.write90. And remember, we're basically repeating this process over and over. So you could do this. So I've got my four sides here and I turned right each time. Let's try it. There's my square. 
Now, my eyes color is blue, so if you want to do the blue, you can change, you can make any color in the rainbow from red, green, and blue. So, right here, if you wanted to make a blue, a custom blue, say you don't like the blue that's built into Python, you saw how when we used pink uh, or violet, how I had quotes around it. If you make up a color of your own right here, like hazel or blue or something, then you have these square brackets around these numbers. And this is the amount of red, this is the amount of green, this is the amount of blue. So let's just make a custom blue so you can see how that looks. So notice I did that even before I created my turtle. Okay. So you don't have to put it up here, but you have to put it somewhere before you try to set the fill color. So, all right. Remember we said we had to, to set the fill color before we started drawing. So, color. I'm going to put blue here. Notice I don't have quotes around it because this is actually something we made this is a variable. Variables in Python, the variables don't have quotes around them. Okay? So, next thing I have to do is ken dot begin fill. Okay? And next I have to do, after I'm done drawing, I have to do ken dot end fill. Okay? So let's see what that looks like now when we run it. There it is. If I wanted my uh, if I wanted my blue to be more greenish in color, I could bump the green color up right here. Right now I've got it at 0 0.6. Let's make it 0 0.9 and see how the green color change or the blue changed. You see how it got a little more green? Okay. We could bump it up even more, like 1.25. Let's try that and see what we get. Whoops, doesn't like it. We got an error because it can't be over one. So you see right here we've got a trace back error. So we got to get back to the tab where we were drawing. So I'm going back here. I'm going to put this back to 1.0. Let's instead of doing the 1.25, let's do the 0 0.8 on the blue and see what the color looks like. Now you see how it's getting green because I have more green than I have blue. So you can make any color in the rainbow with these three, the red, the green, and the blue. If you wanted to just use the built-in color and not have to do this, then you could come down here and there's actually a blue that's built in. So if you put quotes around it, now we're using the built-in blue, and you can see how dark that is. Okay? So, we've drawn that square. When we've filled it, we've pretty much satisfied all the requirements of the program. Remember, the turtle has to be named with your name, your first name. The side length of your square has to be based off of the last three digits of your student ID. The reason this 300, if it's greater than 300, use 300. If it was much more than 300, your turtle goes off the screen. Same here, if it's much smaller than 20, you almost can't see it. So it says use 50 if your last three digits are something like 020, okay? There are some challenges. Remember that you get the most points of anything in the class for the projects. So the projects count the most of anything. 
if you can earn extra credit on a project that's the most bang for your buck so you, if you can figure out if you can figure out how to use a loop in the program so that you notice we were doing a, the same thing over and over and over right here I was doing the same thing lots of times if you can figure out how to put a loop in your program so that you only have to do the forward and the 90 once and have it inside a loop that happens four times then you can earn two and a half points extra credit if you write the code to draw a second square at a different location then you can earn another two and a half points so that's the extra credit that's the project there's another project on doing an equilateral triangle I will give you just a short video about that talks about that but I won't do that project in front of you I pretty much did project two for you here in this video good luck with project two you should all get a hundred and if you do the challenges right you can get uh, a hundred and five so good luck this week